Hey everyone, happy Saturday, super happy you join me. Um, today we're going to be going over 20 command line navigation tips to get you using the terminal like a pro. These tips are going to help you all the way around, no matter what. I mean, uh, to be able to navigate the command line and understand the ins and outs makes your life just a lot easier. So uh, I'm excited to share that information. And if at the end of the video, you feel like you've got some tips you want to share with the, the community, definitely do so in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. Um, I'm always looking for new tips and tricks, man, all the time. Because time is money, man. You see my money tree? See that money tree? That thing's money, man. No. <laughs> uh, but seriously, uh, time is money, and let's get to it. Um, but... After you click that subscribe button and the alert icon to make sure that you're always updated with the latest content. Gotta get it done. I'm pausing. Click it. Get subscribed. All right, let's go. So the first one, we're going to start off kind of easy and then get a little bit uh, more interesting, so to speak. Uh, first one's command space bar. And we're going to type in terminal and hit command plus to blow this window up so you guys can see it and if i want to access this file right here and i want to find out some information about this file right here um from the command line i could type in ls minus la um and from there i can start typing desktop and all I have to do is DES hit tab and it'll auto complete that. If I want to see all the files on the desktop now, I can hit tab twice and it's going to show me all the files on the desktop. And then I could just type Xcode and it'll auto complete with a one tab. Two tab will show me a listing of all the files that it has after that point. If I hit return then I can see some information about this file um, if I just want to be able to do it ls minus la I can just drag that guy on there right that's the quick and easy if you can see the file and you can drag it on there it's the quickest and easiest way um, all right so let's say I want to um, I ran a command I know that I ran this command previously. It was the nano command. I know I did. All you have to do is hit control R and it's going to bring up a reverse search. I can type in nano and it's going to bring up that previous command that I ran. And basically I was looking at this watch path to see what it did. And um, so that's what I was doing. So that's how you do a reverse search. If I want to search this window that's open, I could have a bunch of text in here. This, this terminal window could be huge and filled with text. All I have to do is Command F and type in whatever I want. I can type in Nano and it's going to highlight each one of the items that it finds. All right. Let's uh, clear the screen by doing a Command K. And now we're gonna do a little bit of line navigation. <clears throat> so let's say I arrow up, I've got this long line. I wanna go all the way to the, to the beginning because I don't wanna do an, a nano. I use Control A. And if I wanna go to the end, I can use a Control E. And then if I'm in the line, let's say, and I wanna do back, I can do just one space. Control B, almost like the arrow, or Control F will move me forward. If I use the option and the right and left arrow key, what's awesome about this, this is quick. Option left moves me each word, right? So option right does the same. That was me to navigate that line really fast. Option right arrow, option left arrow. Um, 
If you don't use any arrows, watch my cursor. If I hold option, it turns into a crosshair, and now I can click and drop that anywhere on the terminal window. All right, let's move on, do a little bit of deleting. <clears throat> if I wanna delete com, snap from right there, I'm gonna hold down the control key and I can hit the D key and that will move one character at a time and bring it in. If I want to delete everything from here to the beginning of the line, I'm gonna do a control U and it's gonna take out that whole front of the line. If I arrow over here and I'm like, ah, I want the end of that gone, I do a control K, all right? And then if I wanna take out the previous word, so delete the word right before that, so actually I'll use it, control W, will erase that, but let me bring this back up just so I arrowed up to get a line. Control W, deletes that previous word. You see that? And the reason it did that whole line right there is because that's all one photo, right? Um, so let's bring that out. All right, and that was deleting. Let me just clear that whole line. Control U again. Um, if if let's say I'm trying to see inside this locked folder, you see this locked folder right here? I wanna see inside it. So I'm gonna do an LS minus LA, and drag that guy on there. I'm gonna hit return and it says permission denied. So what I can do is I can type sudo exclamation twice. And what this does is it runs the previous command with sudo. So if I hit return, it's gonna say sudo and the whole previous command. So it's an easy way to do the previous command. And then I can just enter in the password and see what's in there. Oh, awesome. I got a backup of that file that's on the desktop in that locked folder. All right, the next item I'm gonna use a, com well, I'm just gonna clear the screen again, Command K. And the next item that I'm gonna do is, let's say I do an LS minus LA on this file here. And I run it and I'm like, oh, awesome. Oh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a backup of that file that's in there. What I can do is I can do a, remove exclamation dollar sign and what this is going to give me now is it's going to give me the last argument so it's going to it's giving me this so i'm basically saying i'm going to remove this file and when i hit return boom you'll see that it deleted from my desktop if you're looking for some more awesome geeky command line fun I've got a video, Mac Terminal, it's either up or bottom, you're gonna see a link somewhere, uh, but it's Mac Terminal, 10 awesome tips, uh, or 10 awesome commands, I should say. Uh, you should really check that out because that's gonna uh, definitely be a fun one for you. You guys have an awesome week, take care, and I will see you next Saturday.